going on, friends? Mucking out, letting the horses in, feed them medicine, and uh, then we're going to the horse clinic. <laughs> Sam eating a bit of hay. Yeah, that's uh, didn't go to plan like at all. What happened was I did it, she was supposed to go to the vet to get a tooth pulled out. So me and my friend left her at the vet uh, overnight. So the next morning the vet would, you know, check her teeth. So basically she had one teeth in one side, which was bad, and then another teeth in teeth, no, another tooth in the other side. So the vet was like, you've got two choices. Either we pull this tooth out and she has to get the other tooth out too and a lot of things and blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, you let her, you know, pass the rainbow. So I was like, the first person I wrote to was um, a very good friend of mine. And I was just feeling like, I wrote, my horse is going to die and nothing more. And now I can laugh at it because it's like, so out of context it's so weird um <laughs> um yeah and then i ran downstairs talked to my mom me and my mom drove to the vet so i can say goodbye to my horse um and that was big news all i mean i could tell she was in a lot of pain like a lot of pain even though she was on a lot of pain medicine and killers like it was bad so i know i made the right decision then my friend came and as I remember it, it was like she just kind of like very fast speed just to kind of like slide in the driveway at the vet and then just like barely stopped her car before just jumping out the van and just hugging me and she was like bawling her eyes out. I was too. Mom came over and crying and it was, yeah, it was so weird. My horse had probably broken her jaw and as her body had tried to heal that it had grown what was probably cancer but she wasn't all the whole so that was really hard for her body to do and you know and i was like as soon as i heard that i was like okay like i know this is the right choice took my horse over to where she was you know going to be put down you know she got some grass first that was really nice um, I need a minute. Okay. The vet gave her some sedative and I then pulled her over to the place she was supposed to fall. And then the vet was like, now it's the time to give her her final kisses and hugs. The, I think it's like a vet student gave her like the, the final in injection. And, you know, I was, I was there um, when she fell. It can be quite violently sometimes when horses, you know, the heart stops, but she didn't. It was like very beautiful, to be honest. She just kind of, you know, felt like she was laying down to, to, you know, to take a nap and she was gone. And the vet was like, yeah, we're going to leave you here. You can stay here for as long as you need. My mom drove us home and my friend left I just broke down in tears and you know because I've been crying all day I was sleep like you know it was painful so my friend who I wrote my horse is going to die asked if I wanted to go there so I just it was too much and I did I stayed there then we went to a cafe and then someone like, at the cafe called me like oh where my horse is going it's like well I just had to put my horse down today so not great but I'm very grateful for everything thank you for watching and thank you for listening go each other lots of love in that